well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is while you're watching this video. For me, it is the morning, which is somewhat surprising considering I have not been on time and I don't even know how long. However, this morning I am, and I'm looking to salvage my 2022 ice fishing season with a bang. It's been a month worth of truck troubles, F minus angling performances on my behalf, and pretty much a mixture of everything you can imagine that's gone south for me. So today I have one day left, of course, of 2022. It is New Year's Eve to salvage a video for you guys. Um, if I don't, at least I can say New Year, New Me next year. However, I did say that about 2022, so I'm not sure if that'll work out in my favor or not. But enough talking, and hopefully I will meet you guys back in the shack with a big pike. So in my intro, I did say that I was going to be back with a big pike, and that has actually not been the case. I am two hours into fishing, and I've lost two big fish. I will not feature those because, there, unfortunately, there was some coarse language, um, so I will leave those out for viewer discretion. However, now I am three hot dogs and one cinnamon bun deep, so now I'm feeling a lot more energized, a lot more optimistic, and ready to hopefully catch a giant fish. I have seen quite a few big fish on camera, and they're just not in the right mood yet. Um, I will give you a quick rundown on what I like to use. Super simple. Um, as a main rod, I've got the 48-inch uh, medium heavy from Timber Wilderness. So a big thank you to Mac Mulligan um, with the chub mackerel on the line. Probably my favorite bait for pike of all time. Um, and then as a second line, I should have two rods, but I'm running a tip up inside my shack just to keep everything a little closer. I've got a small Cisco on a single treble there. You may be wondering um, why my baits are hung incorrectly, you may think, um, but I like to run everything a little backwards from what is normal. Just give a fish a little bit of a different viewpoint and a little bit of something else to eat and try to spice things up a little bit. It has worked for me in the past and I hope it works today. I'm feeling a little bit low, but I'm hoping to be clutch in, I've got still five hours left. So I've got lots of time, not word yet, and hopefully showcase so I just a giant spike. Nobody that films wants to experience, especially with a big fish. I uh, thought I was recording. I definitely was recording on my underwater camera. So I'll show you that footage. This fish came out in nowhere, uh, smoked a mackerel and hailed it. It was a quick set. And then straight to my camera cable and my live scope. Double whammy, tangle job. Um, pretty hilarious. However, uh, not on film, of course. So kind of tragic that way. But I've got this fish sitting right here for you. An absolute beast of a fish. Got a good hold. Not sure how good the angle is, but I got some photos on my phone quick too as well. So don't want to keep her out of the water too long. I've yet to measure this fish though. I do have a live well behind me, but I don't want to keep her out of the water for longer than I need. It is a... 43 and a quarter inch fish. So once again, show it off one quick last time. 43 and a quarter. I was gonna say not too big, not too small, just size Montreal, but that is indeed a little larger than Montreal. I'm gonna send this fish back down the hole, give her a quick second to recharge. And there you can see on the other camera maybe. Come on girl, you're good. Oh, and there she goes. Nice hard kick. That is awesome. Um, like I say, I really apologize for not getting that on film. That's pretty unfortunate. I'm pretty disappointed in myself for not making sure it was filming as soon as that fish ate. But that is the way it goes, especially when you've done no filming prior to this. So anyway, like I say, I apologize. I'm glad you guys get a quick look at that fish. And hopefully the next big fish that comes in will be on film and able to uh, for you guys to watch the whole thing go down. So here we go. Maybe Michael Jordan performance in the last hour. Not sure. Running out of time though. I don't want to ramble too much as I've already done. Let's see. This pike is cruising in. Oh, will he eat it? I'm just tapping it. I'm not even... Okay, he just ate it. You guys, that fish just ate it. Swimming away. I don't know if I should set that. I'm going to open the bale. Okay, the bale's open. I'm gonna pull my camera cable ASAP, get it out of the way. It appears that fish is still on. I'm really hoping so. He is. As you'll be able to see, I'm gonna stop that recording quickly on the end of our camera. It's a lot of gong show, chaos happening, of course, sorry. But you can see that that fish just grabbed the back end of the bait. So I'm not in no hurry to set the hook and start fighting that fish because I don't think it has the hook yet. But we will see, I'm gonna let this fish swim for quite a while. Kind of take that bait, maybe stop once and then reposition the bait in his mouth and then go and then I'll try to set him. 
but he's moving super, super slow right now. So I'm just gonna take one second to uh, let him take this bait. Okay, so he has stopped. I'm really hoping he has not dropped the bait. I'm kind of tempted to give him a set. Tighten my drag right down. Oh my goodness. Pure chaos. He has still got this bait. He's swimming away. I'm going to give it to him. Got him. I missed him. No, I got him. I got him. Thank goodness. And he is wrapped. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this rod. This rod is absolutely a dream. I'm just kind of rubbing on the ice, so that's kind of the reason for my my long, uh, oh my goodness. Look at those head shakes. Look at those head shakes. Tighten my drag back down again. Oh, I don't want to bore anybody with the 10 minute fight, so if it's a really long fight, I'll cut the, kind of cut the clip. But as you guys can see, this rod is just loaded up. Feels like I'm at Taz and fighting Lake Trout right now. I'm gonna to try to get this fish directed up the hole if he gets close. He is still a ways. As you can kind of see though, with this long rod, the one of the disadvantages is close to the whole action. I'm kind of, I'm so far away. From, oh my goodness. <laughs> I do have my second line in the corner here. So I'm gonna quickly move and grab it. Grab it out of the way here. My second line is now out. And this fish is running me all across the world right now. I'm gonna grab my ice scoop. Like I say, confusion everywhere. Oh, this 48 inch rod is absolutely folded. I've got an ice scoop just to pop the line around the hole because I do still got summer braid on and it likes to rub in the slushy ice. So I'm just gonna try to help that. So if the fish needs some assistance, I've got help. Oh, this fish is really dogging me. Holy. I got a 3000 size stratic, which is nice. So at least I'm not worried about getting spooled. Hopefully I can get this fish to get directed up the hole. Crazy long fight. Here he is. And it is a good fish that swallowed the hook. Here it is. Oh, if I can land him. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, this fish wants to put on some sort of a magic show here and soak me, but there it is. Not too big, not too small, just the size of Montreal. It's got a super, super beautiful color on that. Like almost a silver looking pike. Beautiful colors. I'll get some better shots of that. I'm gonna get this fish in the live well and I'm gonna come back and talk a little bit more about this fish once we come back. So I apologize <laughs> yet again, a little bit of a chaotic fight. Hopefully you guys find it entertaining. It was nothing like the first one, I can assure you that. Um, this fish is also not quite as long. It's only a 39 incher. Still a beautiful fish, gorgeous. It's almost silvery, like it's just stunning. But like I say, beautiful fish, not much else to it. Got a nice silver head, I'm not sure if you could see that, but I don't wanna keep this fish on the water too long. Gonna send her back. And uh, hopefully Moby Dick will be next. <laughs> As you guys can see, this fish is coming into the bait right on the bottom. And I'm just tapping it with my rod, or with my hand, sorry. Not using my rod at all. Gonna let it just sink down, see if he picks it up off the bottom. He's just quivering on that bait. Super lightly, super lightly. I'm gonna touch it. Just try to act like it's feeding on the bottom. I don't even wanna talk too loud right now. I don't wanna do anything out of the ordinary. Tapping it, tapping it, tapping it. That fish is just staring at that bait. My heart is thumping and I'm just praying that he comes and eats that bait head first as if he doesn't eat that. Look, the fish is almost right down on that bait, almost touching his mouth right on the sand. I'm just tapping it consistently. Tap, 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 tap. I'm gonna let it sit for a second. See if he just eat that bait. There's a walleye swimming behind that lure right now, as you can tell. No way, no way, please fish, please. So as soon as I stopped tapping and he kind of swam away, now that I start tapping it again, he is back on the bait. I am just twitching it ever so softly. He's gonna eat it, I think, no, no. Oh, please, please, please. Maybe he'll come eat the camera. Wow. Oh, there's another big pike in the back. Another big pike in the back coming into the Cisco. Are you serious right now? And I'm gonna tap this on the bottom, try to get his interest. I cannot believe that. Is he gonna eat the Cisco? Hopefully, it looks like it. He ate the Cisco. Oh, and he dropped it. And he dropped that. How unlucky can I possibly be? He's gonna eat it again. He's gonna eat it again. 
He's repositioning it. He ate it. And he dropped it again! Oh my goodness. Look at this. Two pike. Oh, he's going to eat it again. He is going to eat this bait again. One of them is going to eat it. Right? You'd think. Try to get it right past this guy's mouth. That was unsuccessful. I spooked him. Never jig near a fish's tail. I'm going to quickly turn this light on above me to try to get some better, uh, better footage for you guys. If I don't spook these fish, I'm going to touch it. Oh, come on. Oh, there's a the second pike coming back again. Okay, I'm not sure if that lightened the room at all. I'm hoping it did. I think these fish are finally going to somewhat cruise away. I cannot believe that I didn't hook one of those fish. I should have been on that on that tip up, that second line, just instantly. Okay, the pike's coming back. I'm quivering it, quivering it, quivering it, quivering it. I'm not even touching the rod. I should be on this rod, instantly ready to set the hook. He's going to eat it. He ate it. He ate it. He ate it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Okay. So instantly camera out of the water. Get everything out of the way. Camera's out. Stop that footage. Get this out of the way. Wow. How freaking long did I have to wait that fish out? Like seriously, there was two fish and finally one of those fish ate. He's ripping line. He looks really nice. Super clean, fat fish. And as you can probably tell that I had to turn the light on, the day is coming to an end very quickly. I'm gonna allow this fish to take quite a bit of line and then hopefully give him the juice and end this on an incredible, incredible day. If I didn't mention earlier, it is, uh, what is it, New Year's Eve. So I'm hoping to end 2022 out on a bang with hopefully a 40 plus inch pike that ate off the bottom. I'm gonna give him quite a bit of line just because I want him to make sure he's got that hook. I really wanna test his drag too. Oh, he's still keeping me tight. That's way too loose, way too loose. Oh my gosh, way too tight now. <laughs> Look at that rod. As I mentioned before, this is a four foot medium heavy rod. Look at the drag, zipping. I'm, whoa, <laughs> good thing I've got a uh, 3000 size Stratic on this. As you can tell by the tip of my rod, I'm rubbing on ice. That's why I have this scoop to jar myself free, which didn't even work on that one. I'm pulling this fish. I'm gonna hopefully land this fish. Oh no rubbing on the ice and I've only got eight pound mainline because I didn't have time to uh, put uh, any heavier winter braid on my rod. So eight pound braid rubbing on ice is not always great. So I'm really gonna try to control my line around the hole, which is not always the easiest thing with a four foot rod inside a shack. Luckily, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty set up uh, space wise. So if I do need to do anything crazy, I can I can do that. As you can see, my rod tip, I am really, really rubbing on ice. There we go. Oh, I just soaked my jacket. Oh no. It is the end of the night and I really do want to land this fish though. So at any cost, I will land this fish. I hope I don't want to jinx myself by saying that. Oh, but you guys can see this rod is just a dream to fight fish on. As I mentioned, it is the timber wilderness. Um, Mac Mulligan hooked me up with that. He's the head guy at Baker's Narrows awesome angler he also has a youtube channel that you guys can subscribe to big shout out there oh no oh wow so the scoop was not acting as uh, i had planned it to so my arm will have to do for now this fish is close please oh 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 <laughs> oh it's like lake trout out here i really want to keep this fish pinned and end my year on a bang with a good fat fish. This is a fat, clean, solid fish. I'm gonna try to guide him here. He's still full of juice. He's really close, really close. Please, please. <laughs> kind of a long fight. I really apologize for the long fight here. Um, it's probably only two minutes, but it just feels like an eternity with these big fish. Oh, here he is. Oh, he's big. 
You guys, he's a big fish. Really big fish. Oh! Oh, I thought he snapped me off. Oh, he's big. Oh, I really hope my lighting turned out in this video. I kind of did it and never even looked at the camera because I was filming that pike eating off bottom. But how sick is this? Like seriously, oh no, my line again. Oh, please, please, please. It feels like going slow motion. Gonna hopefully get this fish to turn third time's a charm. Please, God, please do this fish. I'm always having a reel. It feels like he's right there so many times. Here he is. Oh, again. I just gotta guide this fish ever so lightly. Wow, that's a big fish. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what a beautiful fish. Super fat, super healthy, super clean fish. I'm super glad you guys could all watch that unfold on the underwater camera. Watch that fish come in. That's probably a 42, 43 inch fish. Still a very quality fish. I'm going to throw this right in the live well, get it unhooked, and uh, get right back to you and send this fish back. All right, a little bit of craziness there. Um, I'm not sure how much light I had um, during that fight. As as you could see with that fish, was fish uh, reacting to the baits. I didn't have much time to actually adjust the lights to that properly. But uh, that's a part of the way it goes with filming, with everything being a little chaotic. However, enough chitter chatter. Here's this fish. This fish is just touching 41 inches. Um, so a great fish. I actually thought it was going to be longer at first, but still a very quality fish. There it is. I'm not sure how that angle is. Try to get her lifted up a little more. Um, but as I say, incredible, incredible fish. An awesome day on the water to end my year. Um, I'm hoping I get a shot of the release here. Maybe not, but anyway. That fish is supercharged up. There it goes down the hole to live into the new year, 2023. I thank each and every one of you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope to catch you on the next one. Thank you guys very much.